my channel love Vicky I hope you love me too hey everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Anna welcome to Anna Marie's mukbang today I have a wonderful video for you guys can you guess by the title I have a collab if y'all know me you know I love collabs and today's collab is with Vicky's mukbangs and more Vicky is a red-haired goddess I love Vicky. I found her, I think, a couple months ago, and I loved her personality right away. She is so funny. She's so straight to the point. It's so funny to see her be OCD in her videos about the sounds that go on in the background, so she's probably OCD watching my videos because I always get some sounds going on. She is so nice, so kind and compassionate. She's a person who um, takes care of her disabled husband, and her collab is gonna feature her husband in it, so that is awesome. Um, maybe he's not disabled, but he has um, definitely some medical issues. I apologize for that statement. Um, I never mean any harm. Anyway, link is in the description. Check it out. Make sure to comment that you came from Anna's channel, like her video, subscribe to her, and be awesome. We do have some Subway. And I let Vicky pick the collab. This is her first collab ever. I kind of explained to her what it is. And then I let her pick the food. And we wanted to go a healthier route. So we did Subway. And I was reading up on Subway. I used to work at Subway and I knew the like sandwiches, calories can get really far up there. Like a meatball one, it's like 1,200 calories just for a plain meatball sub. You add anything to it and it's up. So this sub is only 800 calories for everything that's on it and this is woo, I'm trying here this is on whole wheat nine grain wheat bread I think it's called and then I have turkey um, spinach turkey cucumbers onions light mayonnaise um, jalapenos girl does she forget my jalapenos oh oh she forgot my jalapenos you guys I've never ever eaten subway without jalapenos I don't think oh well it's just gonna have to work what we have today is a subway collab with an amazing sandwich and then I have I picked out these applewood smoked barbecue chips because they're freaking the best so let's open this shit. Yeah, hopefully my phone don't cut out. I need to get a bigger memory. Oh, these are the best chips. So these chips are 180 calories. Oh my god. Mmm, yes. Mmm. And yes, I'm going to eat the whole sub. This is like all I've eaten today. <laughs> so. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Mmm. Okay. She legit went real light on those vegetables. Like really light on the vegetables I was like can you put some more spinach on there <laughs> and she didn't and tomatoes too mm. okay y'all there is a story time I mean that story time there's questions you what we're doing all four questions the first question that Vicky's mukbang and more asked me is if you could get teleported to any TV series as an added character of the show and had to stay there for the rest of your remaining life but you could choose which TV series you were to be teleported into which one would you choose and why girl it took me forever to think because all I ever watch anymore is freaking Mickey Mouse because of Colton or PJ Masks because of Colton oh this is Diet Coke you guys So, if I had to choose one, it would be 
Drop Dead Diva. Have you guys ever seen Drop Dead Diva? Essentially, the moral of the story is the main character, and I forget her name. I don't know why I forgot her name. I used to be obsessed. Anyway, the main character, she was a hot blonde, real thin body, really pretty, a, a model, a go-get-it girl, and she died in a car accident. She came back into a hefty or like chubby, like my size looking lo a lawyer's body. And so her soul was in somebody else's body because she got to come back, but it went to the wrong body. And so the whole story goes out of this hot model having to live inside a, 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 a polar opposite body and learn how to accept herself and learn that she can't be fitting in those size zero jeans anymore and just learning how about how society affects this person and it was and also learning how to be a lawyer or whatever she I think she was a lawyer without even any knowledge behind it because she was a totally different person so I would be Jane it's Jane from drop dead diva and the, the person that she came back as uh, her new personality her new soul because I think it would be really awesome to be in somebody else's shoes. It would be really challenging though. But she lives a good life as a lawyer. She's very pretty for a, a larger woman. Like She's my size. I wouldn't say she's super large. She's my size. She's just a little bit larger than life. Okay? Um, anyway, to be a lawyer and to have this super awesome personality. And I think that would be so cool. She has nice things. She eats good food. Like, I would love that. Mm-hmm. It would be rather complicated, though. <laughs> so that's my answer for that girl. If Y'all probably have never seen it. It's kind of... It's definitely a chick flick. But very, very interesting. I love it. Okay, number two. If you could go back in time and for one week and be a younger version of yourself... With the knowledge that you have now, what age would you go back to and what would you change or that you didn't do the first time? Hmm. That's a hard one, girl. You got me with the hard questions. If I had a week to go back in time, hmm. Girl, I don't even know. I really don't have like regrets like that. I guess one week I would have liked to go differently in my life as I was dating this guy. His name was John. The one out of three white guys I've ever dated. <laughs> anyway, his name was John. He was very handsome, about my height. Sandy blonde hair, blue eyes, beautiful. A gorgeous guy. Six pack out of here. Anyway, I was in Jumbo and Bugle Corps with him for three years. Two and a half, three years. And we started dating. And the last week that I saw him, I told him to go fuck himself. Because, and this is, I guess it's one thing that I do regret because I don't know how my future, how, how it would be right now if I was still with him. Is he told me he wanted to move my city so he was closer to me so he didn't have to drive an hour and 45 minutes to be with me every weekend. And I was still in high school and he was like just the sweetest person in the world. And I told him off. I told him to fuck off. I was scared. I was said mean things to him like you're a douchebag and... All this stuff and he pretty much never talked to me again if I could go back and change that week and just be brave and explain to him that I'm scared because I've never been in a serious relationship before and I didn't know if I was you know gonna be able to be okay with everything I feel like we sw so would still be together he won't talk to me no more 
but I do think about that on the daily. Not on the daily, I would say every couple months or something. It pops back up in my mind, like, what if? Because like, he was a good looking guy. He still is a good looking guy. He's a lot different looking, but he's a very good looking guy. And if you're watching this, if you ever come across this, I'm so sorry. If I had just not been a child and actually was able to tell you how I really felt. Because I did love him. I love him a lot. Like, a lot. And that's why I still think of him every so often. And if I wasn't so immature and understood the meaning of an actual serious relationship, I would have been like, yeah, move to my city so I can see you all the time. So, that's definitely one thing I would change. I'm single now, so if you're watching, let me know. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I know nothing that I said could ever change shit with that. So, let's just move on. If you could trade lives with any one person for a day just to see what it's like to walk in their shoes, who would it be and why? This kind of went with my um, Drop Dead Diva, po my Drop Dead Diva comment. Because I think you would have more respect if you learned how to live in somebody else's shoes. You know? I would want to live in somebody's shoes that is exact opposite of who I am. live in somebody else's shoes just to see how it was I would choose my mom's shoes I never really knew her she passed away at a young age of 43 and she was never around for me and the reason why I go back and I try to walk a day in her shoes or a week in her shoes is to see what was going on that made her choose other things other than me and my sister. There had, there's no right person on this earth that just completely disowns their kids and says they love them. So, drops them off on the doorstep and bye. There's no right minded person on this planet. So, there must have been something going on that was deeper that made her not want to be around us. I remember growing up. I was raised by my grandma. I remember growing up. And my grandma would say, oh, your mom's coming to meet you today. So the first time I met her, I was like 9 or 10 or 11. And I thought that the lady, because my mom was dating a lady, I thought that the lady she came to meet me with was my mom. I didn't even know who my mom was. I was so embarrassed. She came to meet me, and my aunt got into a fight with her. And I didn't see her again for another year. Then my grandma said, oh, your mom's coming to see you. And so I'm waiting and waiting. I'm anxious. I want to see her. You know, that's my mom. This is all I want in my life is to see my mom. And she never fucking shows up. Why? This happened 10 to 12 times that she just didn't show up. And I would be so anxious to see her. And that really scarred me emotionally. That really fucked me up. I would never do that to my son. Because I know how bad it hurts. So I want to walk in her shoes. And see what the fuck was going on. To make her choose other things besides me and my sister. I'm sorry I'm all like. Emotional and shit in this. But these are questions that I think I want answers to and I, I you guys know I never get an answer now because she's she's gone I can't ask her I found out at midnight the day before she died that she was in a coma and if we woke her up she'd be like a vegetable and we had to pay for a funeral too and I didn't even know her so that's one person I'd like to know what was going on and maybe I would have had some chance to, you know, change that. It was always my dream to, like, be good with my mom and relationship-wise and be able to help her out, to be able to help her and get into a better life, um, not, like, in drugs and all this shit. 
Like, there's shit going on that I don't know about that would make her feel like that. Okay. Four. Would you, ra uh, would you rather question? This is one I came up with because I'm a fun person, right? It says, would you ha rather have sweat that smelled like Hawaiian punch or drink Hawaiian punch, punch that tastes like sweat every day for the rest of your life? That's a hard one for me. I feel like I don't like Hawaiian punch, so I don't even know how I came up with this question. It was really freaking random. If I had to choose one for the rest of my life, I'd probably want to sweat Hawaiian have sweat that smell like Hawaiian punch because it's kind of fruity does it have to be red sweat I don't know but I don't think I could handle drinking sweat flavored Hawaiian punch every day sweat and salt you guys I would die of salt <laughs> that's an easy question I really smell like Hawaiian punch and people be like oh that's the Hawaiian punch girl then they have to drink Hawaiian sweat punch. Mm. No. If you haven't already, pause the video. Go check Vicky's mukbangs and more out. She is awesome. Mm. This sandwich is hella bomb. I'm going to finish it off camera because I did finish my question. And it is already like 18 minutes in. So I hope you guys liked my video. Give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you're from Vicky's channel, hello. Welcome to my channel. I love Vicky. I hope you love me too. And if you are going over to Vicky's channel, thank you so much for checking her out. She's a smaller YouTuber, and she deserves a girl because she has a beautiful personality. And I hope you like my emotional wreck of a freaking uh, mukbang today. It's always kind of that way with me, right? Anyways. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and goodbye.